any service member has heard this spiel about preparing for a deployment. Make sure you have the correct gear. Make sure your gear works. Why? Because this gear is going to save your life downrange. For me, I'm an aviator. I need to make sure that I'm ready with my checklist for the aircraft that's going to keep me safe in flight and when I'm prepping for it. Or making sure that we have the correct gear. Me, I need my flight gloves. Or most importantly, I need my flight bag. It has all of my equipment in there. One thing that's overlooked though when preparing for a deployment is family readiness. Things that you need to get ready back home. Why is this important? Because it's going to save your life as well. Whether you're married, single, retired, or a civilian, most of us know someone in the military that might be getting ready for a deployment. And it's important to make sure that they have all their personal needs in line prior to the deployment because it could be potentially devastating downrange when you have to deal with stuff like this at home. That is why today we're going to talk about some of the things you need to do to be ready for a deployment on a personal state. Things like financial readiness, structural readiness, and emergency readiness. We are given many tools to protect ourselves in combat, but many tools are overlooked to get ready on the personal side. So well, the first thing I want to talk to you about today is financial readiness. This is really important for whether you're married or single because we got to pay our bills. Everyone's got them. The first thing is being set up for automatic bill pay. A lot of banks have this now set up online where you can pay your bills. Works out great. Here's the problem with that though. You can set it up to go automatic, but when you have bills like your electric, your water, things like that, they have a specific monthly payment. So a lot of specifically single soldiers and airmen will think, I'll just pay it online. You know, I have internet access downrange. Partly true. Internet goes down a lot over there, so you have to have a backup plan. So because banks just don't take the words, hey, I'm deployed, I'll, I'll pay it later. That doesn't really work in the financial world. So you have to be set up to have someone else take care of your finances. That's why having a power of attorney, specifically for financial reasons, is very important to any soldier, airman, sailor, anyone that's going downrange. This allows someone else to do your banking on your behalf. A lot of financial institutions are very sensitive about this information because Finances are a big deal with identity theft and other issues like that, but they want to know who's taking care of it. Best way that I've found to take care of my personal finances as a husband is something like this. This is a, just a simple Word document that I made. It's called a deployment manual. I wrote it for my wife, and it works out great. It has all of the information she needs to know. It prepares her for all the financial needs that we have and make sure that if there's any questions about who to contact, it's all in there. Which helps bring me into my next point of structural readiness. This is important because you want to make sure that when you're leaving that your family has all the information they need if there's an emergency at home. We just had a hailstorm come through in Oklahoma City this past spring and fortunately I was here for that, but what if I was on the road? It could have been pretty stressful for my wife to have to deal with all of that all by herself. So making sure that she has the correct tools, that's part of my responsibility. Make sure that your spouse has the information they need, who to call in an emergency, you know, who maintains your AC and heater, who do they call if the gas goes out. This is very important. Now, you're sitting here, you're single, you're like, hey, this doesn't, imp this is not important to me at all. Well, you're wrong, because you have personal belongings as well. Whether they, whether you have someone designated to take care of it, or you have it in a storage unit, it's important to make sure you know what you have, and you have insurance on it. A lot of insurance agencies will cover stuff in storage during a deployment. Make sure you're asking those questions. The biggest thing, have a checklist and have a point of contact for any emergencies that might come up while you're downrange. This is for single or married people. You have to know who to contact. Yeah. We, we talk to a lot of people in my unit when they deploy that. We need to know where your personal belongings are stored. Why? Because if I were single and all my stuff was in storage, I would hate to come home from a deployment to find out that my storage unit got wiped out by a tornado or something like that. So it's very important for everyone to stay on top of that. The last thing is emergency readiness. And this is another big one that's very overlooked. It goes back to the little deployment guide that I put together for my wife. This, this is valuable. It has an emergency contact list in the back. Everything that she needs, knowing who to call is half the battle. Having people check in on your family or whoever is designated to watch over your property is another big thing. Having a will is another big thing. It's one that people kind of don't like to talk about, but for example, in the state of Oklahoma, I've learned this one from being in the military there, that if you don't have a will and you pass away, it is a big deal because 
the state of Oklahoma, then even though you have a next of kin, it takes months for the court to finally decide that. If you have a will, it's done within days because you've already designated someone. Finally, the American Red Cross does a lot for our military that a lot of people forget about. And it's very important because if there's an emergency, you need to know who to contact. American Red Cross will help you in any emergency. If something were to happen to, say, your parents or your spouse, they need to contact the American Red Cross. All they need to do is call the local chapter, give them your name, rank, what branch, your social security number or date of birth, info on where you are and where your home unit is. This way they can contact your leadership accordingly and help out as needed. Personal preparation is very important to the mission. It really only takes a short time to prepare. Our servicemen and women volunteer to protect our country. And whether you're in the service prepping for a deployment or you know someone, being there and asking the question is just half the battle. Ask someone, hey, are you prepared for your deployment? Is someone taking care of your needs? Is someone watching over your house? These are all simple things that are overlooked and that need to be in focus before going on a deployment. My gear for deployment is important to me. My flight suit, my flying gear, that it will all potentially save my life downrange. So I need to make sure that I have the tools prepared for my family, like my deployment manual, to help my wife be prepared for the same thing.